In today's episode, how do you do in top of some blah blah blah? Come so today, oh, still sweaty from the shower. Going back into the theatre today, we're going to take care of the costumes for the show, of the show, sort of, because we just left it. Now we're going to sort of sort through it. So, Christian, what's going to happen today? Today we're going to um, uh, set the, the places for the artists so it will be as it used to be. That's, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> and now you can sort of slowly disappear behind the sort of table. <laughs> so, people, I'm going to show you how the dressing rooms and everything looks before we brought things back. The reason we have to empty all this that there's a Swedish TV show called Idol, Idol. I think they have it in other countries as well. And then we sort of have to move everything into this. This room now reminds me of that first, you remember Star Wars when they have that sort of, they, they're about to get crushed in that sort of debris. They fall into some sort of I don't know, sort of garbage disposal thing. This room reminds me of that. <laughs> but the other, other rooms look nice. This is how many tickets we had sold a couple of months ago. Sean and a lot of costumes. Get out of my way. Bloody wall. So the fun part is at the theatre, you never know who or what you can find anywhere. Wherever you go, there might be something watching you. So things are happening. People, it's time for lunch and I'm going to have those vegan meatballs and that uh, red pepper sauce and spaghetti that I made two days ago. Few days ago, I, I never remember when I make the food. So, Christian, what are you eat? What's your lunch? Move the plastic bottle out of the way and tell us about your lunch. It's the same as the yesterday, people. Yes. So, what is it? It's chorizo, vegan chorizo casserole with the mashed potatoes. Fantastic. Are you satisfied? Yeah. If that food was a song, what song would it be? The hills are alive. So now I'm carrying clean costumes. Costumes that has been cleaned for three months, I guess. Have been closed three months? Almost. Here's Christian with coffee. It's coffee time. Coffee time. Oh, lovely. People, I've just decided that I am going to be, uh, I'm going to try to become... A tea snob. Hashtag tea snob. So now we are moving stuff to get to the costumes that are behind all those sort of loose set design pieces. Set pieces, I guess. So people, I'm going to film Christian trying to get a big sort of box down. What about it? You could try to be a little more entertaining. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, Christian is going to put the box back. Put the box back. <laughs> try to be and Yes, good. Thank you. We're going to do a funny thing. Funny thing, funny thing. Someone fell into the stairs. No, what are we going to do, Christian? Uh, well, it's going to be really hard to show. A face. A face. We can't show you now because people will be watching, but tomorrow you will see the face. So what we are doing is we are making room and we hang this thing up and then we sort of found this old, this is from one of the sort of thing you hang out of the theatre. This is the male lead, a photo of the male lead. So we are hanging that there. 
Lovely. You can talk. <gasps> Christian, you know what I can do? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, we're gonna fitch, switch faces. Come here. So, say something. Hello. Come see the show. Come and see our show. Oh, we, well, we can't well, really we say that, can we? No. no. Hello. Sing something Hello. like, sing something from the show that Philip sings, because now you're Philip. Give me a tune. Um, mm, I can't remember any songs from this show, can you? <laughs> oh, only Gabriella's song. Let's well, sing that then. Did you celebrate the night? I thought that's the night Say goodbye, Christian. Goodbye, people. He's off to the gym. Yes. Then to sitting. Thinking he's fat. Bye. Bye. So he's got his bike out there somewhere. Oh, you can't really see it anymore. Hello and welcome to Swedish Word of the Day. Swedish Word of the Day is come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. I'm uh, now going to use it in a sentence. Knack, knack, knack. Vem är det som knackar på min dörr? Det är jag, din kusin Örjan. Hej Örjan, kom in. Knock, knock, knock. Who is that knocking on my door? It is me, your cousin Örjan. Oh, hello Örjan, come in. This was the first part of two parts. Uh, uh, the rest part will come later. Uh, thank you for watching Swedish Word of the Day and welcome back for the other part, which is exciting. Goodbye. Okay, people. Remember earlier today when I said I want to turn into a tea shop? Well, I stopped by a tea shop oh, wait. <laughs> and bought a hell of a lot of tea. First, I bought this. This is Earl Grey Special. It's sort of, I don't know what's so special about it. But then I bought something called Bellman Tea. I haven't tried this one. I tried this one earlier and it's great. And this is Sir... John blend. I, I've tried this as well. And I really, I'm not that good, so I can't really tell you about, oh, this is that, and this is that, that, that. But they were good. And I'm going to bring them to work and make Christian try them tomorrow. Because he's not big on tea, but I will be. I also realise I haven't showed, I didn't show you my fantastic tofu and noodle thingy me bob it was t t sort of noodles with uh, tahini sauce and the it was the best best tofu ever because what i do with tofu as i buy this great big block of tofu and then i freeze it for 24 hours and then I take it out thaw it and i put it under a weight and the weight is wait for it one of those this is like five kilos, I think. I found this in the street. <laughs> Isn't it weird? I mean, who dropped it? Some weightlifter, sort of drunk weightlifter going home. But so, oh, I dropped my weights somewhere. Anyway, when you put that weight on top of the tofu, the tofu works like a squeegee. You just press out all the water. It's, and it's so much easier when you've sort of frozen it and thawed it. But then you can sort of add because then it's like a squeegee and then you sort of you can put it in something else and it will just go so i made this marinade by oh, what was it one deciliter one half deciliter one deciliter of soy sauce japanese soy sauce and a great heaping spoon of this you can't see it because it's the other way around wait so this is a uh, fantastically good peanuts in chili oil and it's those Szechuan uh, peppers and I might have some sort of I, I'm 
I, I'm not very sort of... It's like I had corona all my life because my, se my senses, so sense of taste is not well developed. So I sort of, I can eat quite a lot of these without sort of having any trouble. Other people will go sort of, oh, this is too strong. But if you make this marinade, one deciliter of soy sauce, Japanese soy sauce, one tablespoon of this, and sort of, and you put the, the tofu <laughs> and let that soak. It's the best tofu ever. I mean, I ate it like cheese. I didn't even cook it. I just sort of like tofu. More tofu. I need tofu. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to save that recipe. Remember, remind me of this recipe because I'm, I'm going to use it again. Fantastically good. I might put a little less soy sauce in because it was a bit salty. Oh, it was good. It was good.